If you're having problems getting Windows Update to work properly, then the very first thing that you should do is check to make sure that you've got internet connectivity. If internet connectivity is working, then the next thing that you should do is run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Now before we do that, let's go ahead and simulate a problem. What I'm going to do is right-click on the Start button. And I'll go to Run and I'll type services.msc. That's going to open the Service Control Manager. Now one of the services that's used by Windows Update is the Background Intelligent Transfer Service, or BITS as it's more commonly known. You can see that service right here, and if you look at the status column, you can see that the service is not running, but it needs to be running in order for Windows Update to function properly. So let's go ahead and run the troubleshooter. What I'm going to do is click on the Start button. And I'll go to Run and I'm going to type Control. And this is going to bring up the legacy control panel. So from there, I'm going to type the word troubleshooting into the search box. And you can see that we have a troubleshooting option. I'll go ahead and click on that now. And we have a variety of troubleshooters that we can use. The system and security section, which you can see right here, contains a link that we can click to fix problems with Windows Update. I'll go ahead and click on that link now. So this launches the Windows Update Troubleshooter. I'm going to go ahead and close the control panel. You don't actually have to do that, but I'm going to do make things easier to see. So now I'll click on Next. And the troubleshooter begins. You can see that it's checking to see if there's a pending restart. And now it's starting the bit service. So it detected that the bit service wasn't running, and then it started it. Now we received a message saying that troubleshooting couldn't identify the problem, and that's one of the little quirks with the troubleshooters is that every once in a while they will tell you that they didn't find a problem even though they actually did. Now if you look back at the service control manager, it looks as though the bit service isn't running. But if I refresh the console, you can see that the bit service has actually been started, and it now reflects the status of running. So Windows Update should be able to run at this point. Now, if you're concerned about that, you could rerun the troubleshooter, but rather than doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to click on Start. And then Settings. Update and Security. And let's check for updates. And it looks like we're up to date, so Windows Update is working properly. So the troubleshooter did its job, even though it gave us that error message, indicating that it didn't find anything. So that's how you use a troubleshooter to diagnose problems with Windows Update.